guys, welcome to Mi Casita again. I hope that you guys are doing excellent. I have to congratulate you all for the excellent work that you guys have been doing. I am super proud of you and I expected nothing less than, than what you guys are doing because you guys are doing incredible. Um, yesterday, as I was reading um, all about Strega Nona, I had such a fun time time seeing how smart you guys are becoming each and every every day you guys are showing me that you're understanding the conflict in this story and understanding that is helping you unwrap the theme and understand what the author is trying to teach us and yesterday on Stregonona you guys were saying that big anthony the problem or the conflict was that big anthony touched the uh, pasta pot after Strigonona had warned him not to do that and then you guys were coming up with the solution or the theme actually not the solution but the theme where you thought that Tommy De Paola who is the author of that book he was trying to teach us that we shouldn't be touching things that don't that does not belong to us and I will go um, a little bit farther and say that uh, that he's trying to encourage us and teach us that we should follow direct directions so she hired him Stregonona hired Big Anthony because she needed some help and she told him the first thing that she told him was I'm like this is what you what you're gonna do but you cannot touch this specifically and he went straight to touch that so he was disobedient there and because of it he got consequences and he almost got the entire town of calabria um in trouble as all that pasta was going everywhere there so it was funny and silly though but it's crazy though um but you guys are doing excellent with the skills that i want you guys to practice and i have to say it again i'm super proud of you i can't wait to see you again be in the classroom with you guys and be able to um hear all of those little details that you guys are always talking about those the stories and the things that you guys really like about them um so i miss that so much so today though we're gonna be reading this story it's one of my favorite stories and i have read it in class so i know that you guys are familiarized with it um and what i want you guys to think about is the same thing what is the conflict in this story what is the author trying to tell me what is the message what is the moral in this story um so once we understand what the conflict is then we can up we can come up with um with the theme for it so with that said our story for today is are you my mother by pd eastman and um this story is so silly and it's one of my favorites because it's about this baby bird that he has just hatched and um he started on the lookout for his mom and he goes through many adventures and many 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 things silly and funny things and he does not know what his mom looks like so he start asking everyone are you my mother and that's why it that is the title are you my mother so let's read about it i hope that you like it and that you can um send me um comments about what you think the conflict is and what would be a good theme what do you think that P.D. Eastman is trying to teach us with this story. So, with that said, are you my mother? A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Uh-oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So, away she went. Take a look at that mother bird is standing right on the edge of the nest because she wants to take off so she is pushing her legs up so that she can fly out and she is going away now the egg jumped it jumped and jumped and jumped out came the baby bird take a look at that he is so happy he just ha he just hatched out of it now, 
Where? Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. Hmm. Take a look at his face. How do you think is he feeling? Hmm. What is this picture telling you? How about this one here? I, I don't know. I think he's scared because he doesn't know. He's feeling uncertain. He does not know where he's at or what's happening around. And on this one here, he started to look. So he looked up. He did not see her. He looked down and he did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Take a look at these pictures here. Look at him. He's feeling so confident. Yes, confident is that feeling that you have when you feel that you can do anything, that you're unstoppable. You got this. That's how he's feeling here. And here too, you see, he's, he's not being nervous at all. Not because he's never been there. It's holding him back. He's just going, but uh-oh. There's a big difference on how he's taking off and how Mama Bird was taking off. Do you remember that I told you? What was she doing? She was pushing herself out of the nest, getting ready to take off and fly. What is he doing? So, away he went. Down! Off the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. Take a look at him. He's still, even though he fell, he's getting up and he's just going. He's on the lookout. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her and he did not see her. You see him? He's going behind the rocks while the mom is in front of the rocks. Mm-hmm, she's pulling out a, yes, a worm. Why do you think she's pulling out a worm? Oh, of course, that's what birds like to eat. They like to eat worms. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. Hmm. The kitten was not his mother. So he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog, I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Yes. Are you my mother? He said to the cow, how could I be your mother, said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? Hmm. Did he thinking? Can you see him there? Yes, I'm thinking. Did he have a mom? a mother said the baby bird I know I did I have to find her I will I will oh. how is he starting to feel now I don't know now the baby bird did not walk he ran then he saw a car could that old thing be his mother no it could not the baby bird did not stop he ran on and on now he looked way, way down and he saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up and he saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, 
he got out, but the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. Hmm. I wonder if they look alike. How can he know if it's his mother or not? Think about that. What do you and your mom have the same? What are you guys alike? What is different? So he ran up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. But the big thing just said, snore. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snore. I have to get out of here. Uh-oh, how is the baby bird feeling now? I don't think he's liking it. He's in big trouble. How did he get in trouble? What did he do that he should have not done before? Because that's the conflict in the story. Hmm, what would it be? Let me keep reading to see how we can solve this problem. But the baby bird could not get away. The snore went up. It went way, way up and up, up, up went the baby bird. Uh-oh, but now, where was that snore going? Just then, the snort came to a stop. Take a look at the baby. How is he feeling? He's having a lot of different emotions. Take a look at him right now. Where am I? Said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. How is poor baby bird feeling? Why is he feeling that way? What would you feel if you are at the mall with mommy and out of a sudden you cannot see her? How can you find a solution? How can you solve the problem? What would you do? What is something that we should do? What is the author trying to tell us through this story? Then something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Take a look at the baby bird. He seems so confused right now, but relief at the same time. He couldn't understand what's happening. First, he went through so many adventures. Then... The snore grabbed him and he was unsure of what was going to happen to him. But now he sees how the snort has put him back in the nest where he was at the very beginning of our story. What do you think is going to happen next? <laughs> Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby, what do you think he's gonna, is he going to say? Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You're not a kitten, you're not a hen, you're not a dog, you're not a cow, you're not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. Now look at you. Oh, they're hugging each other. Now he knows who his mama is. And that is the end. Don't forget to tell me what was the problem. What was the conflict in our story? And lastly, what is the author trying to teach us with that? I hope that you enjoyed this book. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye.